The last thing we'll be looking at is what we call zero matrix. When do we say a matrix is a zero matrix? So a matrix is said to be what? Zero if it has zero entry at every point. So every entry has zero. Such a matrix is said to be a zero matrix. For example, A having a matrix zero zero zero. This is a zero matrix. If A is zero 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 as a matrix, this is a zero matrix. If A is given us we have this matrix, this is also a zero matrix. The same way if we are having A to B. So all the entries are zero for a zero matrix. Can we say A is a zero matrix for this? Or let's use B. Is B a zero matrix? No. Because this place is one, which does not make this matrix a zero matrix. All the entry should be zero. And zero matrix is mostly denoted by O. It is denoted by O. So in a proper manner, this is how we write zero matrix. So let's say zero matrix of the order two by two is going to be written as zero, 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 zero. This is a proper written form of a zero matrix. Because it is zero matrix, we are Representing it with what? Our O. Say a proper 2 by 3 matrix that is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This 2 by 2 is showing us the order of the matrix. 2 by 3 is also giving us a clue on the order of the matrix. You can write a matrix together with its order. And with that, we are going to say much about that, a square matrix. So what do we mean by a square matrix? So a square matrix has same number of what? Of rows as columns. So it's very simple. A square matrix has the same number of what? Rows and columns. So anytime we see a matrix of the order three by three is a square matrix, same number of rows are same number of what? Column two by two, one by one, maybe four by four, five by five, and if we have six by six, these are all square matrices because the number of rows is equal to the number of what? Column. Are we good? Okay. And with square matrices, we have an advantage. It is of interest that our matrix will be a square matrix. Most of our analysis we are going to assume some square matrices. So let's look at what we can do. One, pay attention to these parameters. Any two square matrices of the same order can be added or multiplied. So two matrices or two square matrices of the same order. can be added and multiplied. Are we okay? So we can add one matrix of three by three to another matrix of what three by three. Or we can multiply a matrix three by three to another matrix three by three. That's the idea. Very simple. Are we okay? And 
a square matrix A, we are going to look at another point. So when we have a square matrix, which we are denoting it by A, it is going to be called non-singular. What we called, we have some matrices we have, we call them as non-singular. Non-singular, or another name we can also call in invertible matrices or non-singular matrices. So we are going to invertible matrices. So how are we going to identify such matrices? First, let's write some square matrices. So matrix A, say two, four, eight, two. This is a two by two square matrix. Matrix B, eight one four three two zero 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 this is a three by three matrix say matrix c eight one two zero negative one two one four eight nine ten eleven twenty twenty one four one this is another square matrix of the order four by four this is four rows and we have four columns so this are square matrices are we okay we have them written this way so we are going to look at some scenario where we are going to find if the matrix is non-singular or invertible and what we are going to do here is we are going to multiply the matrix by its inverse. If the matrix is giving us the identity matrix, then that matrix is called a non-singular matrix. So let's say if we multiply a matrix A by its inverse B, giving us an identity matrix I, then such a matrix A is going to be called the non-singular. What do we mean by inverse? So here B will be the inverse matrix. We will look at how to find the inverse of a matrix, where I N is also going to be what we call the identity matrix. Identity matrix. We will look at them all, how to know the identity matrix, what type of matrix is called the identity matrix so i just want to prove how we get what we call the non-singular matrix the non-singular matrix so for example let's say our matrix a is giving us one one negative one two and its identity or its inverse B, this is how the inverse of this matrix is going to be like two on three. And we are going to have negative one on three. We are also going to have here as one on three, here one on three. So this is the inverse. We will look at how to write the inverse. And this is the identity. So let's first multiply them. This means matrix A multiplying matrix B. We'll talk more about multiplications and stuff. So here, I just want you to pay attention, look at how we are going to prove if this is true. So meaning A multiplying B is equal to the identity matrix. And A is giving us this matrix, one, one, negative one, two multiplying the inverse, two on three, negative one on three. One on three, one on three. When you multiply these two matrices, they can be multiplied because they are of the same order. This is a two by two, this is a two by two. Remember, square matrices can be multiplied if they have the same order. 
So when you multiply this, your answer is going to, because we've not tackled how to multiply matrices, I'm going to write the answer straight. But in the episode where we are tackling multiplication of matrices, we will go through step by step. So when you multiply these two matrices, you are going to get 1, 0, 0, 1. And such a matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 is what we call the identity matrix. So our IN is true as 1, 0, 0, 1. Meaning this matrix A is a non singular matrix because when you multiply it by its inverse, you are going to get the identity matrix. It's very interesting. So what then is identity matrix? It's very simple. The identity matrix. So the identity matrix is a square matrix with ones on the main diagonal and zeros S square. So any matrix being it it should be a square matrix, of course. Any square matrix with ones on the principal diagonal. We talked about the principal diagonal in the previous episode. Any matrix with ones on the principal diagonal and all the other entries are zero and zeros else square. That matrix is an identity matrix. So one, let's look at a certain two by two matrix. How do we write? This is one, zero, zero, one. Remember, this is the principal diagonal, which is A11, a two two remember this so any matrix with one on the principal diagonal and zero elsewhere that type of matrix is called an identity matrix let's look at a three by three matrix first it's supposed to be a square matrix for you to get the diagonal so say one zero 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This matrix is an identity matrix because on the principal diagonal, there are ones and elsewhere, there are only zeros. So this is a three by three identity matrix. So if anything changes, this matrix will not be an identity matrix. For example, if we have a matrix, say 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 0. This is not, is not identity. Why? Because the, on the principal diagonal, there is a 0 here which disqualifies this matrix from being an identity matrix. And on the other entry, there's one here. This one is supposed to be on the principal diagonal. Are we okay? So this is what we call an identity matrix. Let's dive more deep into the identity matrix. How do we write the identity matrix? So it is denoted I, I, mostly with an N or just an I, where this N is going to show you the order of the matrix. So you will see I1, meaning the matrix is a one by one matrix say this it has only one you see i2 meaning it is a two by two identity matrix like this i 
three, meaning it is zero. So this is an identity. So the first place should be one, zero, 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 one, zero. And this is zero, zero, one. Are we okay? If it is I four, meaning it is going to be something like this one zero zero zero. We want the principal diagonal that will be zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one this way. So this is the principal diagonal with ones on them and zero else squared. Are we okay? So this represents the order of the identity matrix. We have some points to check if it is true. So we want to show that, so show that a matrix A of this, this is the matrix. We have one, four, seven, and we have two, six, one, three, two, four. This matrix show that I M multiplying by this matrix A is equal to A I N, which is also equal to a. What we are trying to say here is multiply the identity by the matrix A in this order and multiply the matrix, the identity again in this order and check if they are equal and they will give you an answer back as the matrix A itself. Are you okay? So it's very simple. We will look at how we can do this very simple so in matrix multiplication you've not tackled it yet it is in the other upcoming episode in matrix multiplication the order matters so a matrix a b may not give an answer as b a do you understand that's why i multiplying a is different case from a multiplying i in terms of multiplication so we will see more about such and we will go so after the multiplication of this and that we know that the identity i m is still because this matrix a that we are going to multiply by is a three by three matrix our identity should also be what a three by three matrix right yes that is going to be one zero 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 one zero one zero or zero zero one this way then we multiply it by the matrix you can do the operation and when you are done you will discover that multiplying this by a and a by that when we are treating multiplication of matrices we will solve this question and you understand it very much thank you for watching this episode check out for the next episode